So I'm going to invite uh, now Priya, who is with me here, as well as Gopal. I'd like to welcome Gopal also, who's going to be handling the questions in the chat box or the Q&A, but there won't be a Q&A in this because it's a meeting. So in the chat box, so they are joining from Dehradun and from Kochi. So Priya, if you'd like to go ahead with this, please do. Yes. Hi, very good afternoon to you all. And uh, so without further ado, let's get on to the topic of this meeting, which is overall performance. Now, as you would know, this is uh, the one new element in the digital exams. And uh, though it is new and it has been put into the examination suite in place of what we had earlier, the supporting tests for the classical, uh, for the music exams and session skills for rock and pop, the purpose is the same. And that is to assess broader musical skills. We all, I think, know what the musical skills that are being assessed earlier in the face-to-face -face exams were. So these, I must emphasize, are actually have the same purpose and they have been designed to do so. So if we take another look now, a closer look at what it is and how uh, this was arrived at when this substitution was made. So the musical skills and knowledge that were used to assess in the face-to-face -face exams were studied and the learning outcomes of teaching these tests and being able to perform them in the examination were looked at very carefully. Now, these are musicianship skills. So, uh, and they can be demonstrated through just as well the performance of the pieces and the technical work. Very briefly, we have musical knowledge. What I'm talking about is the supporting tests that were there earlier which is really about musical literacy, understanding the style, the structure, the grammar of a piece and applying it. Now that is very much can be demonstrated in playing the piece as well. The oral tests, which is really about listening, understanding, and again, realizing correct pitches, correct rhythm, and uh, particularly in the case of wind and string instruments, correct intonation. It's all about the ear and so those are also addressed in overall performance. Sight reading, uh, which I must say a lot of students and teachers were quite wary about, is also plays a part in the new overall performance test because they actually accurately following the score, again, about musical literacy, and that is there. It is in the marking criteria of overall performance as it was earlier as known as the sight reading test. And of course, there is improvisation, which is there in some of the rock and pop pieces. And even you can add ornamentation. In jazz, you can always add more ornamentation. Uh, Mr. Boraya, could you please put yourself on mute? Mr. Boraya. So, uh, one minute, one yes, minute. Alvin. Yeah, I'm just muting him. I just muted him. Go and ahead. Then, of course, you have playback in the rock and pop, which is a combination of oral tests and sight reading. So these, so rather than create an entirely new test of set of tests to replace these earlier ones. Trinity decided to devise a set of criteria that actually does assess all these broader musical skills across the entire exam performance of technical work and pieces. This particular design was thoroughly tested with the examiners, with teachers, and we ensured that the result is actually completely comparable to what was there in the face-to-face -face examinations. So that's the journey to the culmination of this known as the overall performance. So uh, is, are there any doubts on this at the moment on what Priya has said so far? If anybody would like to ask a question. 
Please, she's she explained it very thoroughly. Anyone? Okay, I guess all are clear on this. Yeah. Uh, so now we're going to go to the next part, which is the assessment criteria and how overall performance is marked. We have seen in detail how it can be mapped to just the playing, the supporting tests or the session skills can be judged with just assessing the playing of the pieces, the performance. So the entire performance is awarded two separate marks. Now, when we say entire performance, we mean the technical work and the pieces in the classical and jazz suite and just the pieces and songs in the rock and pop suite. So two separate marks have been devised according to two assessment areas. Performance delivery and focus is the first assessment area where they look at continuity of delivery, assurance of playing, confidence, and consistency of focus on the work that you are presenting. We are going to go further in detail into these points so that nothing is left to chance. And the second is musical awareness, demonstration of musical personality. We will explain that too. And ability to work within and move between styles. Different styles of music. We know that music is made up of many, many different styles how you portray those styles, how you communicate those styles is what they're looking for. So if we go a little deeper into this, and if anybody wants to add anything, please feel welcome to do so. So the first part, which is performance delivery and focus, which carries 10 marks, assesses focus. Now, what is focus? It's consistent musicianship skills across the pieces and technical work. As I always say, technical work can also be played musically. It can have a shape and that is what they are looking for. So you remain focused through your performance and don't forget any of these things while you're playing even your technical work or the pieces. Assurance would be knowledge of the chosen work and the confidence with which you are presenting that. That's the next point, the confidence, the delivery of the performance. And this could include several factors. It could be your stage presence, tuning, how you're holding the instrument, how you're sitting at your instrument like the piano, so posture, how you turn the pages and move from one piece to another and attire. Definitely attire also matters here. You should be comfortably dressed, but a slight uh, bit of formality is also required because it's actually a performance. So that is what the first part is. And the second one, musical awareness is all about how much you know about your piece, how well you understand it. Sound musical knowledge, the different styles, how they are interpreted. Have you brought them into your performance? Different genres. When you're moving from one genre to another, say you're playing a Baroque piece and suddenly the next one you have to play is a jazz or an, uh, uh, something else, an eight beat or something like that. So how do you adapt from one style of playing to the other? It's quite mental also, and it's quite practiced also. So convincingly re realize the performance directions in the score. Whatever's marked on the score should be played accordingly. So that is how they judge that you have studied your piece, you are aware of the different nuances in the piece. Personal interpretation would mean clear evidence of personal engagement, bringing out your own interpretation of what you're playing 
in the style, sticking to the style, but using some of your own uh, ideas that you feel will make a better, for a better performance. Again, now this is going further deeper into it. So this is the third stage where we are going to more points, giving you more guidelines. The first is for performance delivery and focus. As we said, correct posture, how you sit, how you sit with your instrument, the holding of the instrument and the correct positioning. These are all very, very important, especially in this digital exam because you are getting marks for it. Overall performance did not exist in the face-to-face -face exams, but here it does. And it takes in all the supporting tests as well as these points. Page turns handled skillfully. This requires practice and careful preparation. You will hear some examiners speaking of their uh, expectations at the end of this presentation for overall performance. And this is me mentioned that you should bookmark your pieces so that you can, with one flake, you can move to the next piece rather than turning pages four, five, six, and then getting to the next piece. And it should be done in a relaxed and assured manner. So if it's practiced, it will be assured. You should not stop even if an error is made, whether notational or technical, whatever it is, keep the flow of the piece. Do not stop and go back to the beginning. Pick it up, have the confidence to pick it up and move forward, leaving that behind. How you begin and end a piece, confidently and with the correct time. Now, when I say time, generally children are nervous, the students are nervous, candidates are nervous that, uh, oh, I have to move to the next piece. And they've played the last note, not even thought about the time value of it, and quickly flicked over to the next piece because they're a little nervous as to what has to be done. So it could be practiced. So if that last note is a half note and has to be held for two counts or a whole note for four counts, make sure that they take that time and then remove their hands from their instrument and calmly and assuredly move to the next piece. Also, as we said before, performance directions so that the whole performance is fluent and cohesive. So if we keep these things in mind and we do practice these with our students, it will definitely help get those marks. It's very easy to score a 10 on 10 or a nine on 10. Uh, Sushant, could you please? Yeah, Sushant, yeah. could you please mute yourself? Yeah. The second part, which is musical awareness. This is all about developing a musical personality and that personality needs to demonstrate through your performance, a personal interpretation, stylistic understanding, versatility of playing a variety of styles and clear knowledge of the structure and the composer's intentions. So which means you're not just learning that piece and knowing the notes, you are also thinking about what the composer intended, what is the structure of the piece, what is the style of the piece. And of course, using all the unique properties of your instrument, whichever one it is, tone color, dynamic range, registral range, to bring out with authenticity the character of the music. So it's important that you do keep these things in mind. And there is definitely a practiced element for overall performance. You should not think that we can go into overall performance, we'll get the marks anyway. 
No, they are very, very conscious of what is required. The examiners have been trained again for this. And so they mark these very, very uh, fairly. So please make sure that that is part of the preparation as you would have prepared them for supporting tests of your exam, the digital exam. So uh, I'm gonna put forward another poll question here. Uh, let me see where it is. I have somebody talking. Who is it? Gopal, can you tell me who it is? Because I can't. Sushant David. Sushant David, okay. I will have to put him on. Okay, I'm so sorry, everyone. I wish people would be a little more sensitive to what is happening. Okay, all right, where was I now? You're going to give the us second. a poll, Anjali. A poll yes, enough. yes. Uh, can you see this poll? It asks whether you think it is a satisfactory substitute to supporting test. And there are only two choices, yes or no. Please feel free to be frank. I have no idea who's answering what. It's just a percentage and number that we get. Uh, excuse me, I would like to ask yes, a Nandini. question. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So this, uh, the question was uh, like, you know, substitute to that. Uh, the question was um, like, uh, substitute to the. Uh, 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 yes, sorry. Is it a satisfactory substitute for the supporting tests? Uh -huh. That's what I'm sorry. Overall I performance. Yeah. No, but then. Uh, uh, Personally, uh, supporting tests means all those sight reading and musical knowledge yes. that you have been talking in yes. my part. Yes. Of yes. course. Okay. No, no. I don't feel that this should be uh, like, you know, this can be substituted because otherwise the children's become parrot only. They just learn the pieces and doing. And I can see my children, uh, they are going little downwards, you know, in actually getting the piece and grasping the pieces. Well, I, don't think uh, they just do. I would just say something here. Right in yeah. the beginning, uh, I did explain how we uh, at Trinity arrived at making this overall performance and the criteria. Each aspect and each of the supporting tests uh, was addressed and was incorporated into overall performance. So it has to be actually very consciously taught. Uh, the oral skills, uh, the musical knowledge, the sight reading, improvisation. All of these are there. No. Right, right. No, no, I agree completely. But then since the question was put, so I, I, that's what, because the children are a little smarter than us, I believe. We yeah, really but, but uh, it, is, it is us who have to change our way of teaching a little bit. Being conscious that this is a part of the exam, you teach your piece in that manner keeping all yes. these things and telling them that this is the oral part of it. This is the musical knowledge part of it. It's just that you're not being asked a question, but in my teaching, mm -hmm. I am dealing with this with you. And the examiners have been dealing. very rigorously trained to uh, look at every single one of the aspects of the supporting tests to be shown in the performance of pieces and technical work. Right, and it's right. not just the two supporting tests uh, here. Everything oh. is being judged. All four of ah. them are being judged. So it's that's, our teaching no, no, that has good. to change a little bit. We need to make them conscious yes. that we are doing this for this reason. I would, uh, I would say yes. that it's a better substitute. This. That's, that's good. That's yeah, good because, because you really then, want to give a better performance. Absolutely. Yes, quite right. And Everything, it is all about performance. You're quite yes, right. Yes, Freddie. I think that's a very, very valid point that the whole performance becomes better 
when mm -hmm. you are taking these tests into your performance. Yeah. yeah. So that, right, that's right. an excellent point made there. Yeah. Anybody else wants to say something? Manish had a hand raised or somebody Yes, sir. Yes, sir. May yes, I, so I have a query and an yeah. so. So the query first is, uh, see, uh, we have the digital exams where we have three pieces and the technicals. These yeah. are two that we do. Is the uh, overall performance a third a part of the test? I mean, a separate set of music pieces or something like that? No, no, no. we just explained that. It is not separate. It is judged on your technical work and your pieces. Oh. They have been trained to judge these musical skills through your performance, how you have played. So they are well trained to know whether you have addressed these musical skills in your performance. So from what I understand is we have uh, done the three pieces and we have done the technicals. So overall above this, they are going to do an overall performance uh, assessment that uh, this is how the student has mm -hmm. Uh, performed and give them the extra marks, correct? Yeah, yeah well, yeah. Then, yes, okay, yes. Yes, yes thank you. That, that's basically what it is. But yeah. in the, as teachers, you'll need to bring it into your teaching consciously. No, see, as far as I'm concerned, I do teach this to students to read the notations and play the pieces. So there's no question of them just being able to learn a piece by heart and just play them. So definitely. No, no. May, may I ask a question? Do you go into the composer and the style of the piece? Uh, yes, I have to uh, inform the students that uh, to read exactly what the title says, what is the name of the song, who is the composer, whether, whether it's a traditional song which has been arranged or rearranged by someone else, a little background about the song to understand the feel. So we, yeah, we do give that theory. However, the important yeah. thing uh, if the student can read the notations and play, so they won't be just like parrots, as uh, uh, some teacher mentioned. So sure. definitely, absolutely, this. absolutely. The personal interpretation is also judged, and yes. you can only interpret it, uh, anything if you understand. Yes, and I if you understand the grammar, the structure, and the style thoroughly, only then can you give a convincing uh, evidence of personal engagement. And that musical awareness carries ten marks. That's a lot of marks. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Thank okay, you. anybody else? I think uh, we have yes. a couple of... Yes, tell me. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Good so, afternoon, Abhishek. I just wanted to say that uh, I uh, myself have appeared in a couple of grades uh, since this uh, digital grades uh, thing started out. And I have also made some of my students uh, to appear in the exams and they have done fairly well and including me. So I right. believe uh, this is a great substitute uh, uh, that has uh, been offered uh, uh, in, uh, in relation to what we had in our face-to-face -face exams. Um, the side reading part that uh, many of us have uh, put up, uh, it uh, is it, it is a matter of uh, how honest you are with your own preparations. I believe. Uh, Absolutely, I yeah. I fully agree with you there, Abhishek. It's the honesty uh, on from our side that is there. Right, that, absolutely. That because is what the, we do it. We as teachers are supposed to guide our students and not uh, uh, not uh, offer them a spoon feeding uh, kind of thing. That's that's uh, not absolutely. going to work. Uh, uh, if we are to looking develop to de develop, develop the skills, yeah. That's right. And Abhishek, right. let me tell you, yesterday uh, Priya and I were having a discussion about this presentation, and we were speaking. And uh, I just like to share this when we were talking about sight reading because we knew there would be questions as to uh, you know how are these skills judged in the piece? How are they piece uh, judged in this uh, piece? So Priya, I'd like you to share what your definition of sight reading was. A lot of us feel that sight reading is just reading the notes. Priya, can you share your definition? 
Yes, certainly. I think that, you know, sight reading is really about understanding and understanding at multiple levels. You are displaying technical proficiency on your instrument by realizing what's there on the score. While reading the score, you have to be able to apply dynamics. You have to be able to voice what you're playing. You have to be able to acutely be aware of rhythmic possibilities and how, uh, how much you have to observe them. So really sight reading is at its very core, it is about a very sound understanding of the music, any music that you play. And that is manifested itself in sight reading and how quick your response is. So I think, you know, it's, a, it's really a very valuable test of music literacy. And we do have some uh, opinions I've seen in the chat box, which say that, you know, you cannot substitute sight reading. Um, there is no substitute, but I would beg to disagree there. I think the element of sight reading and realizing a score well points to the same broader skill of music literacy, whether it is shown in sight reading in the face-to-face -face or whether it comes in part of realizing a good fluent performance in the digital. Absolutely, Absolutely. I completely agree. Thank you so, so much. So Ivan John in the chat has said, there is a need to integrate these varied skills into our lessons. Very true, Ivan all of us teachers have to change our mindset a little bit and go more towards simultaneous learning theory of uh, Paul Harris, where you put all these skills into one piece and point them out and make the children understand that holistically what all is being developed when we are doing this one piece. So, Okay, so moving on to the next slide. This was a very interesting discussion. I'm so glad that you all came up with points. We'll take some more after afterwards. Excuse also. me, ma'am, before you could more, I just want to say something. Yes. Uh, personally, I am very happy about this substitute. I have found my students are doing very well. And I believe uh, because I'm also in investing a lot of time on the students because each one's capacity is different. Absolutely. in uh, performing also in grasping and some i mean they are very good at technical level some are very good um, they some don't take care of this few things which are mentioned especially as a substitute marks the way you present musical awareness so uh, it is as a teachers i think we need to put a lot of efforts on students and we can uh, march together with students and Absolutely. reach this goal reach this goal because i feel it is very important thank and you thank you for sharing that yeah, yeah students have done really well somehow even got out of 100 100 so i mean i think they are really focusing on these points that's that's excellent i'm going to put in a poll question here which is not in the polls so i'm just going to say it and y'all can just put yes or no in the chat box uh, do you all as teachers feel that you have had to change the way you have been teaching to prepare the children for these digital exams? So just put a yes, no, we we'll look at it later. Okay. Because this struck me when uh, Sister Amita was talking just now. Okay, so now let's look at some of the marking, what is happening for the marking. So to get nine out of 10 or 10 out of 10 marks in your overall performance. That's a distinction. The performance has to be delivered with assurance. Transition between items should be smooth and the focus is maintained throughout. And there is a convincing level of personal investment and commitment in the performance and ability to move between styles or maintain the same style even is well developed. That would get you nine out of 10 or 10 out of 10 marks and a distinction in the overall performance segment. Now, this is all from this digital syllabus that is there, which you can see that little booklet that I have inserted here. So please do read it. It is very important that you all uh, understand what is written out here. I've just taken it from there. And of course, and, uh, merit, 
Yeah, go ahead, Priya. I just wanted to say that if you keep these three keywords in mind in this area, the first keyword is assurance. The second is transition. And that Anjali has already talked about how you end a piece and how you go on to the next one. So transition. And the third keyword is focus. If you keep these three in mind, uh, that is really what gets you your marks or sometimes doesn't, doesn't get, get you. Ma'am, what is the th third point? Focus. Ma'am, what focus. is the third point? Could focus. you focus? Okay. And the you. focus has to be consistent throughout from beginning to end. The focus must not change. It must not because falter. It must not dip. It must be evident throughout. So if you look at merit, it says focus is maintained throughout the presentation for the most part. Whereas that most part was not there in the distinction marks. And in the past marks, focus is adequately maintained. Okay. And below pass, focus is inconsistent throughout the presentation. So it's very important that you read these uh, assessment criteria and how it is marked by the examiners what they have to keep in mind. So that is the marking scheme. And uh, Priya, if you want to take this key benefits for teachers and candidates. Yes, so just to actually go on from uh, what we said, how we arrived at making this entire new segment of overall performance, some of the benefits for teachers as well as for the candidates were also very important and taken into consideration. And during these times, one of the most important considerations was that there was no negative impact on teaching time. Planning did not have to significantly shift. Teachers could continue teaching their pieces, teaching the technical work, being mindful of all the other aspects of performance and not have to do something new. And as we all know, unfortunately, we are very dependent on technology in these days particularly, but we wanted to avoid that reliance, over-reliance on technology because sometimes inefficient delivery would have happened had we put replacement tests. You know, tasks uh, involving some kind of live interaction, if those had been developed, Video conference software, as you know, does not always deal very well with latency. Always everyone is, does not have access to fast and reliable broadband. So we had to take that. And this is after all a global enterprise we at Trinity. So we had to consider this a very important point. And then uh, the other thing was in overall performance, we really wanted to give the candidates as much advantage as possible so they could submit this exam at the most appropriate time, paying due attention to being confident, assured, well engaged. You know, very often, sometimes we have heard as teachers, at least I certainly have, is my student would come out and say, oh, today was not a good day. Somehow today I was not at my best. And, you know, that's why I think I've lost marks. But this way, you can really address overall performance by making as many takes as you like record and find the one in which really they, they, they are happy with, you as a teacher are satisfied with, that they've done their best and played with the kind of assurance that's needed. So when we take these three uh, considerations, you will see that they really have the overall performance has benefited all of us. And I hope you agree. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, so any, anybody wants to say anything there? I am going to show this, this video now. So in case you want to think about it and add something afterwards, uh, we can do this. This is a video which is on our website. So I may not run the full thing, but definitely part of it if the connection is good and you are able to see it because I'm going direct to the link. Yeah, and, I just quickly uh, answer Ivan. Ivan, it's not an artificial, it is something, I would rather use the word mindful. We have to be mindful when we are teaching of these aspects. Thanks. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to uh, run the video. We have one more poll question maybe which can go on oh, wow. before. Yeah. Uh, one minute. Yes. What? 
Yeah, it is similar to what we asked. It is, this is the poll question. Do you mindfully address the requirement when preparing students for the digital exam? This overall performance requirement. Oh gosh, Rustam, could you please mute yourself? Would you like would you like me to mute you? Okay, I've muted you. So I'm glad to see that 90%, 91% have said yes, we do. I'm just sharing the results with you. And 2% have said no. And 7% have said partly. So they should actually reach 100% and you'll be getting great results with all your students because it's a big chunk. 20 marks is a big chunk that you can get. Okay, so now I'm going to run this video. These are examiners who have spoken about their expectations of overall performance. You may have to bear with a little ad in the beginning because it's on YouTube. Are you able to see the screen or no? No. No, ma'am. No, no, ma no, not, yet. Not, seen, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. You're still seeing the uh, other yeah. key benefits for teachers. Yeah. No point. Would be able this to see it now. It's designed to help you to understand the new yes. overall performance criteria. Yes, we can see it. Digital music yes, exams. Yes, we can these, see. Our examiners will be assessing your musical skills as sustained across your entire performance. We're interested to see how your musicianship is demo your final notes. The senior examiners for classical and jazz and rock and pop syllabuses are going to take you through their expectations and suggest some ideas for a successful approach. We're looking for the same sorts of things that you would demonstrate in your supporting test or session skills. The ability to respond musically, demonstrate your musical skills securely, be a confident performer and communicate the styles of your chosen pieces effectively. The musical responses that we might see within a live exam in your session skills or supporting tests are things that we can assess by watching your whole performance and we're really excited by that. We want you to think about the smoothness of the transitions between your songs or your pieces. It's not so much about the time that that takes, but more about the action and the movement between them. For example, a rock and pop guitarist who needs to change their amp or their pedal settings should try to do that as calmly and efficiently as they can. Or an electronic keyboard candidate should aim to make smooth and seamless their function changes so that when they're setting up between the pieces, it just helps the performance to flow along. And as a last piece of advice, it will really help the candidates if the music is ready and bookmarked. So perhaps grab some post-it notes or something similar and mark up each one of those pieces so that the next item in the program is readily available. For classical and jazz we expect a pause between your pieces and your technical work or between your technical work and your pieces depending on which way around you're doing them. In that pause you need to remove the music from the stand and then hold your scale list up to the camera so that we can see that there's nothing extra written on it. You don't need to use the printed list from the syllabus. You can write your scales up in any way that makes sense to you and then pop the list on the stand and begin your scales, playing them with as much flow as you can so that we can see a nice even journey through the technical work. Performance practice. One of the aspects that these new criteria can help us to nurture is the visual aspect of a performance, much as we might expect to see on a concert platform or in a live music venue. We 
hoping to assess your ability to show different styles within your pieces and to hold that style through the piece and then change it for the next piece if a different style is needed. And we're hoping that you can do that smoothly and engagingly, really drawing us into all your performances. A secure and aware performance will show us that the candidate is absorbed in the music and engaged throughout. Another good piece of advice is to take your time. If something goes wrong, say you make a mistake in your technical work or in one of your songs or your pieces, then try to treat this as you would do in a concert. Just move along, enjoy your performance as you would if you were performing to an audience instead of to a camera. Remember, performance is also about coping with any problems. So, if the music book falls off the stand or if you need to take a moment longer to allow for a change of mood between your songs, this is fine. We're not looking for a specific amount of time between your pieces, just an awareness of the performance as a whole. So begin each piece when you're ready and don't feel the need to rush. We won't be assessing. So I'm going to uh, stop this share and uh, you can look at the rest of it on the website. So please. Uh, feel free to go onto our website, go to the digital exams. This video is right there and it's, it's really useful. It's very, very useful. And uh, please make sure that you watch, watch it to the end. I only showed you part of it. There's just about three minutes more. I just wanted to do a little bit of talking before we went on to anything else, before we actually ended the meeting. So, Come on, out with questions, out with any suggestions you would like. Yeah, I have a doubt. Uh, yes. So can the students tell the scale names when they perform in technical work? No, we have addressed this before also several times. There is no speaking to be done during the exam. You are just holding up a list of your scales, which has been written out for your own convenience, and there should be nothing else on that piece of paper. That is it. Okay. No talking to be done, Hari. Okay. okay. One more thing, ma'am. So uh, the style names when it's a keyboard exam. So let's say uh, if the style is the style name is orchestral ballad. Uh, in the mm -hmm. particular keyboard model, there is no orchestral ballad, and there is some other ballad, but it's suiting to the song. It's matching to the song. So. Can we use that some other Yes, style? please make your judgment and use that. Gopal, can you put your email ID? Anything related to keyboard styles, voices and all, uh, please mail Gopal. He will yeah. be happy to help you out because we have prepared a list of uh, alternative styles and voices because not all keyboards have the ones given in the Trinity exam book. Yes, yeah, so. thank you. Yeah, thank you, because this was my question also. So okay. my question has been addressed. Thank you, Anjali. Thank you. So thank Nandini, you. just uh, write to Gopal. He will send you the uh, uh, Excel sheet where he has put down some substitute uh, voices. Absolutely. And styles. I'll do that. I'll do that. Thank okay. You. I have a question regarding yes. the Trinity certificates. Trinity certificate, those who do exams, uh, when do they arrive at the center? How much time does it take? Because there are students who have done in 2020 December, but haven't received it. No, it's Any at least four weeks. At least four weeks, if not six. And it's all given on our website. And if you ask your local office, they will also inform you. They that have done it takes for... that much time. Okay, they have done, send me some, I am personally have gone and collected, but those who have not received, haven't done anything so far. 2020 no. certificates are still pending of three students. 2020, then there is some, some problem there. Definitely, you need to follow up with your, where are you from? Uh, Bombay, Bandra. Oh, please contact Fatados. They will help you with it. Okay, thank please you. Please contact them. They, they will definitely help you with it. Actually, they asked me to send their mark sheets. That was what I have done. But after that, no any notification. I think you need to just mail and mail and mail and bother <laughs> Lydia as much okay. as you want. <laughs> okay. Because generally, she's quite efficient. 
Yes, anything else, anyone? Yeah, I, uh, I just want to add one thing. I'm sorry, uh, yes, Nandini sir. here again. Yeah, I just want to add one more thing because uh, you have you put up a question that uh, how whether your teaching methods and everything has changed. Yes, personally, yeah. I feel I really had to adapt to it, and now I feel uh, quite comfortable with the thing, and I am taking more classes, and I am having more students. Yeah. That's wonderful. That's and excellent. Think... Please, please share with others, you know, yes. because I know music teachers are struggling these days, and you know, with students. And the whole, uh, the, right now I'm in Goa, but I'm yeah. taking classes from here also. Wonderful, so I, wonderful. I, I feel that this is an excellent option and I'm, my students are learning fast and they are appearing for the exams quite uh, like you know faster in regularly that probably I, more than you more than you used to send for face-to-face -face yes exams, yes yes very true very yes. true because i'm i was very selective because i never knew how much time i'll be able to give because with my absolute commitments but now yes. it's like you know at 11 o'clock at night also i'm taking and you won't believe there is a boy from texas he's a bengali guy and uh, he is also he will be appearing for the exams 2022 he wanted to learn from me and uh, it was all in a hotspot i couldn't take him but then now it's possible so i'm really thankful thankful to you the whole that's, digital that's, thing now yes that's great <laughs> generally we music teachers keep complaining about taking classes online so it's good to hear that you're no. really enjoying this and yeah. you're doing well and all the best i i i and I must add one more thing because you, I think in 2020, just after the lockdown, uh, Trinity, yeah. uh, like, you know, you arranged for a meeting where you introduced us for the online teaching and there were people uh, like, you know, who gave us some instructions. And with that confidence, I went on and I am thankful to you all. Glad to be of help. So there are no geographical barriers. So go for it, guys, all of you. True, true. Go and Thank advertise you. yourselves. Use use technology. Use the media to advertise yes, yourselves. Reach is so much greater. But I yes. would suggest also that I think all teachers should continue teaching sight reading. I mean, you know, building it into their lessons, sight reading, some oral training. And because that would, you know, really benefit and the overall performance they may not have it as these tests in the exam but these are skills that can also continue being taught they, they need to be there in a good musician anyway yes absolutely, absolutely. that's right otherwise you reach a certain point and you can't go beyond that absolutely absolutely you you beyond which Hello. you can't climb yes that's okay all. very quickly before we Hello, finish this is jbr sir ma'am yes Hello. jbr Ma yes. I, I just wanted to ask you regarding a uh, video creation now. Uh, I mean, what have you to focus with the player, the playing hands, the music stand? How is it be focused? I mean to say. See, this is all given on our website. Pictures are given of okay. how you should have the whole player in the uh, shot and in your screen and it's different for different instruments. The drums needs a side view so that the feet okay, can be okay. seen, the hands can be yeah, seen. I think I'll have to a piano needs the pedal. Yes. So all Thank that you, is... I think yeah. I'll have to review that, yes. Thank you. Yes, yes. please, please uh, review that. I just wanted teacher, a few suggestions. Uh, sorry, Priya. That, no, I'm just uh, saying, if you're a piano teacher, even if the student is not using pedals, they can be because that is part of posture, which is there in overall performance. Oh, uh, Anjali, you, uh, Anjali and Priya, thank you so much. It was a lovely meeting. It's a, I really miss out on the meetings most of the time because of yes, the, the live meetings. I really yes. appreciate uh, your time and your inputs. It's really very helpful. God bless you. It's our, our pleasure. And I just want some suggestions from y'all as to what else you would like us to address because the next um, meeting now will be on the 11th of February. What would Anjali, you like I just us have, to I, I have one question, sorry, Miss Anjali. Um, yes. So when the student when the student wants to play the scales, the student is supposed to write them out on a piece of paper, show that to the camera. And after that, nothing is to be spoken. Just follow no. the order that has been written. Nothing yes. is to be spoken. Am yes. I, have I understood that correctly? Yes. 
Absolutely correct. That's right. Absolutely. Okay. Correct. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, so, any suggestions for what you'd like done for you all? So, um, um, Anjali, how many marks do, does each piece carry then finally? 22. 22. Okay. Yeah, the normal and, 22. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. 22, 22, 22, 22 14, okay. and 24 overall performance okay. in place of your two supporting tests. Okay. Hi, ma'am. Uh, I hope you can hear me. Yes, yeah. David. Yeah. Uh, ma'am, it's actually a request and a suggestion that I have. I don't know how yeah. it, it might uh, sound, but this is a request of one of my students. Okay. Uh, the session that you all are doing now together with the teachers uh, is really appreciated because, uh, you know, it helps us understand things much more better and it makes life much more easier for us. Uh, in future, can a session like this be, uh, you know, conducted for students? You know, for them to have at least an idea of how, uh, you know, Trinity grades them. Uh, no doubt, you know, we give our inputs from uh, how Trinity, you know, decides and how they uh, mark the children. But it, it would be good that, you know, even children directly speak uh, to people who are under the Trinity roof to give them at least a small brief idea of how, you know, an examiner, uh, their point of view, rather. See, like Thank you, David. You've given me the topic of my next Let's Talk session. Yeah. So we're going to do the Let's Talk for students, for candidates and parents. Because parents, of course, teachers are also most welcome. But parents are the ones really who are filming all this. And they are lay people. They have no idea, you know, what to very do. Very true, very true. And they That's don't the have the time to go onto the website and read the instructions and everything. So, all right, 11th of February, it's going to be for parents, candidates, and teachers. And how this to get the most out of your digital. Thank you. Thank this you. is a good suggestion. Thank, yes. Thank you. That Thank will yes. be a great effort, ma'am. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. But, yeah, just one second, just one second. Uh, I'd like all of you, of course, then to make sure that the parents do attend. What would be a good time to do it? Because parents are working. Would you like us to do this sometime in the evening or daytime? Maybe we yeah, can. Weekends, I think weekends, yeah, weekends be better. during the evening, I think, should be quite comfortable. Okay. Okay. Maybe we shift it to a Saturday. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Weekend will Saturday. be Saturday. Yeah, I know, I know teachers are all teaching on Saturday busily. But uh, we'll have to make um, some kind of okay. I'll work out and work out a time and a date, maybe yes, even a Sunday. Why not a Sunday? Yeah, Sunday will be better. And if we uh, like, you know, inform the uh, parents and uh, students in advance, I think they will be uh, able to do because Saturday, many of my children they have classes. Uh, yes, that's classes. the thing. Yes, school as so well as their will, extracurricular. Yes, yes, they will not be able to attend. Uh, but that's okay, we'll look at a Sunday. Yes. I think yes. Sunday Thank is you a so much. Yes. Sunday is a good uh, find Sunday so Yes, much. Abhishek. Abhishek, yes. you were going to say something? Yes, Anjali ma'am. I, I mm -hmm. have uh, a question, but uh, it's uh, not relevant to the topic that we have discussed. So I just... No problem. Uh, okay, I was just seeking your permission uh, if I can email you about it. Sure, absolutely. Please all right, all right. To do I will so. do that, ma'am. Thank you so much. And somebody uh, else was asking something yeah, yeah. when I stopped them. Yeah. This was Anjali. This was Pradeep, ma'am. Yeah. Hello. Tell me. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, Pradeep. Ma'am, uh, as, as the maximum participant uh, number was 100 for this uh, uh, meeting, I think uh, we can increase the maximum participant number if we can, because uh, there will be a lot of parents who. Uh, who oh, do, was it 100? Join. Yes. Yeah. It was. It oh, was. That is why only hundred logged in. Oh yeah, my two gosh. Two or three teachers. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know this because generally our Trinity uh, account is unlimited. I mean, it's up to a thousand. I'm so sorry. Okay, we will. We will address that. We will that. make sure we have recorded this and we will send it to all those who had registered. We have sure. uh, done a recording of this one. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. All right, we're going to stop now. Get on with your teaching. I hope. Thank the you. Of the Omicron. Thank you, Priya. Thank you. 
you will have good times again thank you thank you so much 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 th
the parents and children my teacher didn't teach this my teacher didn't say that no no we are not going to say anything about the teaching it's going to be about the recording and this all this no in the chat huh in the chat if something comes up i mean uh, it would it be difficult to manage the crowd I, mean. I don't think so. I think it'll be okay. We'll have two, three people uh, 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 manning. Uh, could you please log in again, actually, ma'am, by accidentally? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you please log in? Let yes, me just I'm... check. So I, I don't think we have to keep it more general. Okay. That is the thing. Not specific that this is the requirement of the exam, this is this, and just explain to them the method, what yeah. they need to do from their end. Okay, okay. But, Where uh, is this mail that I got? I'm not finding it. But I definitely saw a mail in the morning. Maybe that was for the webinar. It was from Zoom. I should look at Zoom. Why am I searching for Samia? Is Priya joining? Hello? It's not allowing? Sorry, one second. One second. Yeah, ma'am is saying it's not allowing ma'am to join. Oh, okay. Chalo, never mind. We'll have a discussion later, Priya. Just tell her that we'll have a discussion later and talk about the next one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, ma'am said it's okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. All right, thanks. We'll plan this out. We'll plan this out. Okay, bye.